Hi guys, uh, my name is Tom Delaney. I'm a Sydney wedding photographer. Uh, today we've got a, a gorgeous wedding uh, happening. The weather's really nice outside and I'll be using the Godox AD100 Pro lights. So using the S2 bracket, I'm able to uh, adapt a softbox to the front of the flash, allowing me to soften that light that falls over the bride's face. So we had a mirror behind her which wasn't creating the best lighting, uh, it was also very harsh coming through the window, so I was able to soften that light that fell over her face from the softbox. So using the magnetic adapters, I uh, put a grid on the front of the flash which allowed me to control the spill of the light. So I underexposed the background and pumped up the flash, which gave me a very harsh lighting on the bride, which is something that I was after, especially with the veil shot. So the AD100 Pro, it's great to use outdoors, uh, especially with the champagne popping. We can use high-speed sync uh, to make sure we capture every single part of the champagne popping. So we're now on locations at the Rocks in Sydney. It's two o'clock in the afternoon, so it's quite harsh lighting. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put one of the AD100 Pros inside a softbox and the other one just bare bulb, or just off to the left. It's just gonna soften that light that hits the entire bridal party, because as I said, it is quite harsh at two o'clock in the afternoon. Um, being able to set them up very quickly is quite handy when you're shooting a wedding because you're not spending so much time at one location, you're on the move quite often. So they're quite small to set up and very easy. So here we're heading inside a tunnel which is uh, normally quite good lighting but because the clouds came over it got a little bit too dark so I'm using the AD100 Pro on manual. Not too much, just enough to fill the bride as she walks along. I'm putting it on high speed sync just because I've got to freeze that bride in action. When she's walking down through the tunnel I've just got a grid on it again to control that spill so nothing's hitting the background too much. It's just on the bride and her lovely dress. So I'm just inside the tunnel still. I'm using uh, the grid on the flush just to control that spill so nothing's hitting the background. They've already got a key light which is coming from the other end of the tunnel which is beautifully lit already. So it's just enough just to fill the bride's face uh, and also a little bit bouncing back onto the groom's face. And now I'm doing a headshot with the groom just on his own. Again, wanting to pop him away from the background. So just using one light. Having the AD100 Pro being so compact and lightweight, you're able to have an assistant to hold a veil and also hold the flash at the same time, uh, which is quite handy to have on a wedding day. So guys, thank you for watching and I hope you've learned some valuable tips with the AD100 Pro.